welcome to this tutorial where we will explore the best practice, hacks and essential guidelines for architects and designers to make the most of ChatGPT4. Join me as we dive into the world of conversational AI and learn how to harness the power to revolutionize your design process. Let's have a quick introduction about ChatGPT4. In the beginning, there was the computer, a machine that could perform calculations at lightning speed. But as technology evolved, we began to dream of a world where computers could not only compute, but also communicate. And so, the dream of conversational AI was born. ChatGPT4 is the latest iteration of this dream, a powerful AI that can understand and generate human-like text. It's like having a virtual assistant that can help you brainstorm ideas, provide feedbacks, even draft emails or reports, and flirt with your girlfriend. Imagine the story of architect named Pong. She's working on a new project and she's struggling to come up with a unique design concept. With ChatGPT4 by her side, Pong can bounce ideas off the AI, receiving instant feedback and suggestion that help her unlock her creativity and develop a groundbreaking design. Now let's discuss a very important aspect of ChatGPT4 that is called the application in design and architecture. Now the potentials of applications of ChatGPT4 in design and architecture are vast and varied. From enhancing collaboration to streamlining communication, this conversational AI is poised to revolutionize the way we work. For instance, first thing you have to do is ideal, setting up your ChatGPT4 account. So it's pretty easy. I mean, all you have to do is, uh, there are multiple ways you can get access to ChatGPT4. Uh, there, are, there are free softwares, at the same time there are uh, there is the ideal open AI software which is uh, for ChatGPT4 you'll have to have a paid subscription but you can access ChatGPT 3.5 as free but I would suggest there is this software called as um, so let's discuss uh, how we can integrate ChatGPT4 with your design workflow uh, the first idea is to connecting ChatGPT4 with your preferred design softwares so ChatGPT4 can help you understand how the software entirely works. It can also give you descriptions and customizing settings that you can use to make your design process more better, efficient and perfect. It can also help architects and designers communicate more effectively with clients, uh, translating complex or uh, technical jargons into simple, easy to understand languages. In addition, ChatGPT can be integrated with other AI driven design tools create a seamless workflow that allows architects and designers to focus on the creative aspect of their works. Well, you know what, let's just um, use ChatGPT and generate some stuff in order for you to get more clarity on what we exactly are talking about, alright? Um, well, the first thing we need to do is open up ChatGPT. So what we are going to do here today is basically integrate or ask ChatGPT to give us basic instructions that we can use. Uh, in order for us to generate some ideas and cool forms in a software called Rhino and Grasshopper, of course. All right. So basically, ChatGPT today is going to be our assistant who's going to guide us to generate certain things that we want it to do. All right. And uh, let's start with opening up the ChatGPT uh, website. All right. And uh, let's say we uh, let's ask it to generate Taurus. All right. So let's first know what Taurus is. All right so let's just know what is torus knot all right uh, it says a torus knot is a special type of knot that is formed by wrapping a closed curve around a torus uh, in a specific manner anyways so now after we know what a torus knot is let's ask a, a, to give us a gh python file uh, all right that can be used in grasshopper to generate uh, this torus knot curve that we are talking about all right so let's just type gh python file that can generate torus knot all right and all right as you can see uh, it tells me that this is a script of gs python that can generate a torus knot curve this is really crazy all right as you can see it's giving me all this code now believe me i have no background of whatsoever the code or how i need to understand all this but i believe i think it's giving me all these uh, informations that i need to follow as a reference in order for me to achieve the result that uh, uh, will eventually generate a torus knot all right uh, so as you can see these are the ideal default values that it has given us to uh, put in the script all right these are certain more de descriptions and details that we need to follow in order for us to achieve uh, uh, 
a torus knot in a rhino rhino environment all right so it also so it says that right here it says that it is uh, add interpret curve point points now let's copy the code and go into grasshopper and rhino so let's go to maths and py gh python and we'll double click it and once we double click we should be able to copy paste the exact thing and paste it right so as you can see it's working there's no mistake so right right here as we know the rs stands for rhino scripts and add into add intercept curve means that we need to add crv which means curve all right uh, crv is equal to rs and then press ok now and crv and as you can see, double click and test it now as you can see this is mind blowing we got the torus nut isn't this amazing all right and let's let's do something crazy with this uh, what we can do is we can change the numbers over here and try to achieve different kinds of variables or we can add on another layer to it by uh, just adding integer uh, we can we can always have control over the inputs what we can do is we can add i and t um, that is integer and add p similarly we can add integer number q integer r integer r again and integer npt all right these are all controls we need to just individually add all these particular things p q upper grace r and small r and tp over here and replace x with p q r r and npt all right now we'll come to the code and we'll see this particular default number uh, that uh, the code has given we'll completely add the similar number sliders the same number so that we can have basic controls uh, just let's connect individually to P, Q, R and NPT. We've got it. Now all we have to do is just move the sliders in order for us to achieve different kinds of variables and change all the radiuses. We can change, you know, number amount of any points that we have over here. And this is insane. You have control of this particular curve to do any particular thing. Now let's add a pipe. All right, and maybe you can see you can achieve any any kinds of shapes with so many variables you can you can also close the loop um, and the control points over here and now you can just add this point to here and set set the boolean and make it periodic and add it over here all right now as you can see this is insane you have all the control points just add the parameter all right let's say 0.6 and connect it over here and you can control you can make it even further more smooth with a lot of variations all right this is a basic small demonstration of how chat gpt can basically help you uh, without having a crazy background information or a knowledge of uh, coding now you can also to make it further more soft uh, you can just double click on it and just change the number of variable and it can be further more smoothly all right now this is a torus knot as you can see this is crazy so now in this example what we explored is with without having a zero knowledge of what coding is and basic understanding of what rhino and grasshopper does you sh you were able to get this crazy looking torus knot all right to achieve this in other regular software it is a nightmare but with the help of chat gpt and basic uh, you know uh, software information we were able to achieve this cool torus knot with so many variables all right now there is going to be a time where you have you know uh, you have generated certain informations in chat gpt and that doesn't apply here in uh, rhino right because Ch chat gpt is bound to generate some information that might not be helpful for you or that also might be wrong in certain scenarios which is not going to be applicable uh, which is not going to be applicable here in rhino or grasshopper or in any other tools um, in that scenario it becomes extremely important for you to get the prompting right in one scenario or to upgrade your knowledge and skill sets in softwares like rhino grasshopper or any other relevant softwares so basically the takeaway from this is going to be that uh, you need to depend on uh, your skills more than you know uh, the guidance that you're going to receive from uh, places like chat gpt or any other relevant ai tools all right so this was fun to do but you can also explore hundreds and different variations in the similar lines ask chat gpt to give you crazy crazy informations because as you know chat gpt4 is extremely efficient now with right prompting skills uh, you should be able to achieve pretty much any and everything now let's talk about the third main aspect of chat gpt 
It's called Enhancing Collaborations and Communication with AI. As we venture further into the realm of AI, it's essential to remember that these tools are not here to replace human interactions, but to enhance it. By harnessing the power of ChatGPT4, architects and designers can collaborate more effectively, both with each other and with their clients. Consider, consider the story of design team working on a large-scale urban design projects. With ChatGPT4, the team can quickly generate and share design ideas, receive feedbacks, and iterate on the concept all in real time. This not only streamlines the design process, but also fosters a culture of innovation and collaboration. In conclusion, ChatGPT4 is a powerful tool that can transform ways architects and designers collaborate and communicate. As we continue our journey through this course, remember that the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. So let's think differently, embrace the power of AI, revolutionize design together, stay hungry, stay foolish, and let's create a future that's not only functional, but also beautiful and meaningful with ChatGPT4. See you in the next episode.